Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Random Bites and um, I thought that I would share my score curver because well I looked on YouTube trying to find how to do this and I was met with unsatisfactory answers. Um, one person shoehorned in a fixed number of A's and B's and C's to curve scores and that's not how it's done. The way that a classic curve should be done is that it should be based on the average and the standard deviation. And so if it is the average, it should be a C. It should be 76%. And then a B is one standard deviation above that. And a, an A is two standard deviations above that. So each grade level is one standard deviation wide, right? I'm not a mathematician, so um, I'm an English major, so it, this was um, a lot of thinking. Um, so I hope that I have it right. Um, anyway, it's, it's, it's brutal, certainly, but it's honest. And then you can take these scores and inflate them in any way that you choose. I'm not here to debate the fairness of curving but um, just to, to share this and um, get some comments. One thing that I did not know what to do is um, once I got to a failing grade, I didn't know how to assign point values to the, the Fs. A D and above, that, that was just off of a, a GPA chart, right? Next, well, let's show it in action. So I have um, October scores here and um, I can take this and paste this into our curver values there and then let's go ahead and drag this down to include all of these students so you can see on this test the raw scores are 10 12 14 9 20 like that well, that's a 20 is an A plus and so then we end up with a bell curve. It's not perfect, no, but it is a bell curve. There are not a fixed number of A's. There are not a fixed number of F's. So anyway, let's clear up the, let's clear this up and get rid of the students who did not take the test. And here is a student who did really poorly. <laughs> um, five, five answers correct, falling outside of the two and a third standard deviations. So we're just going to go ahead and change that to zero here um, and give that student a, um, an F minus. So there he shows up there. Um, is that all cleaned up? Yeah. So. Um, so that is my understanding of how you curve a score, that you figure out the average, that that is a C, that you figure out the standard deviation, and if it's one standard deviation above a C, then that's a B, and you get 86 points. And if it's two standard deviations above um, the average, then that's an A, and you get 97 points. If you're an outlier, then you get 100. And if you're an outlier, then you get, I don't know. <laughs> like I say, I don't know how to score the Fs um, um, according to this classic system. So um, there you have it. I hope that you find this um, spreadsheet useful. It's on Dropbox. You can download it. Um, I'm certainly interested in your comments about how to um, uh, assign point values to F's um, so let me know so like I said this is brutal but it's honest um, I certainly do have a large number of D's um, for this test the other method that we were you have been using in our schools from time to time is to just say that the max score is a hundred percent certainly that is a uh, useful way to do it sometimes. Um, 
but um, let's see what it does here to this data set. Um, well, look, <laughs> we, we have um, uh, our outlier, the, the kid who got 20 points, messed it all up so that everybody got an F instead. So that didn't work out very well either. So, again, brutal but honest. Most students get a C. A lot of students got a D. Very, very few A's. Very, very few F's. That's the way that we like it. Um, so if you have any comments about my methodology, please do share. Um, I think that this is how you're supposed to do a bell curve, but I am not a um, mathematician or a statistician. I'm an English major who had to try to figure out how to do this uh, with no help from YouTube. Um, so <laughs> thanks a lot. Um, so um, please do share your comments about my methodology here. Um, whether there's anything incorrect there or and also um, what I'm supposed to do about assigning point values to F's. Um, I really don't know what the standard um, uh, technique is for um, assigning point values to F's. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much.